University Challenge. Asking the questions, Siddharth Basu. Hello and welcome to University Challenge on BBC World. Last week's opening feint in the set of friendly playoffs between United Kingdom and Indian University teams was between Birkbeck College, University of London and IIT Madras, in which the Madras team ran away with a match by being very proactive on the buzzer. This week's players are teams from two historical cities with very definite cultural identities and the vibrant tradition of music and theatre, Edinburgh and Kolkata. The Scottish team is here thanks to the cooperation of the British Council in India. Edinburgh University is one of UK's leading institutions founded way back in 1583. It has a vast student population from 120 different countries. Its three main colleges turn out world-class doctors, vets, scientists, engineers and artists with specialization in over 300 subjects. Let's meet the team who've come here to play in University Challenge from Edinburgh. Hello there, my name's Will White. I'm from Hemel Hempstead in the south of England. I study the history of art, and when I'm not quizzing, I'm president of the Edinburgh University Beekeepers. Hi, my name is Rachel Bowes. I'm from Monmouth in South Wales. I'm studying English literature, and I love yoga and travelling. And our captain. Hi there, my name is Simon MacArthur. I come from Fort Rose in the north of Scotland. I'm studying mathematical physics, and my interests include golf and playing the cello. Hi there, my name is Graham Allison. I'm from Ayrshire in Scotland. I'm studying for a degree in artificial intelligence and computer science, and I like football, snooker, and surfing. And their fifth member is the little mascot Burnaby sitting perched right there on top of their name signs, and that's a team from University of Edinburgh. <laughs> Coming up against Edinburgh is Jadapur University, Kolkata. Officially made a university in 1955, Jadapur's origins go back to the National Council of Education in 1905, when the Swadeshi movement was in ferment. Bengali eminences like Raja Subodh Chandra Malik, Prajendra Kishore Roy Chaudhary, Rabindranath Tagore and Aurobindo Ghosh were among the founding fathers of this institution. The main Jadavpur University offers degrees in arts and science, while its second campus at Salt Lake is focused on engineering and technology. Let's meet the team from Jadavpur University. Hello, I am Shayan Mitra from Kolkata. I completed my bachelor's in computer science and engineering. My interests include cricket, philosophy and playing the guitar. Hello, I am Arajit Mukhopadhyay from Kolkata. I have just completed my Bachelor's of Engineering in Electronics and Telecommunications and my interests include cricket and reading comics. And their captain. Hello, I am Amit Kumar Dev from Kolkata. I am a student of Chemical Engineering. My interests include reading and music. Hello, I am Deepak Kaur from Shiliguri. I have just completed my Master of Science in Physics. I love traveling and chatting endlessly over the phone. And that's the team from Jadavpur University, Kolkata. <laughs> the rules are simple. There are starter questions worth 10 points open to both teams on the buzzer. And there are bonus questions for the team that gets the starter question right. Three questions worth five points apiece. That's all there is to it. When the final bell goes, whichever team has more points winds up the winner. And so, best of luck to both teams. May the best team win. Here's the first starter for 10 points. I greet you in the name of peace, democracy, and freedom for all. Were the first public words spoken by which leader after his release from Victor Worcester Prison? Yes, it's Will from University of Edinburgh. Nelson Mandela. It's correct. Well done. <laughs> University of Edinburgh, here are your bonus questions on ministers. To which post was New Zealand Energy Minister Peter Hodgson appointed in 2001, inspired by a Peter Jackson film that was extensively shot there? Minister for Lord of the Rings. Perhaps I should give that. It is Minister of the Rings, you're right. Well done. That's the right answer. And so on to the next bonus question. In 1961, who was appointed Minister of Coloured Affairs in South Africa and Prime Minister in 1978 and President in 1984? F.W. De. F.W. De Klerk. No, it's not. It's Peter Botha. Next. Who played the role of Sir Humphrey Appleby in the satirical television comedy, Yes, Minister? Nigel Hawthorne. Nigel Hawthorne is correct. Well done, University of Edinburgh. Here's the next starter question for both teams for 10 points. Which American gun manufacturing concern made in... Somebody's gone for it again. Yes, it's Bill, very fast on the buzzer. Edinburgh? Is it Colt? 
That's not the correct answer. I'll complete the question for the other team. That's five points taken away from Edinburgh for coming, interrupting that question, and wrongly. Here's the complete starter question, Jadapur. Which American gun manufacturing concern made and patented the first typewriter to have both uppercase and lowercase letters in the late 19th century? Amit from Jadapur. Remington. Remington is correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus questions, Jadapur University, are on Hitler in Germany. Which Swiss German dialect word is used for a sudden revolutionary outburst or coup d'etat? Pogrom. No, the correct answer is Putsch. Next. Which work published in two volumes in 1925 and 27 is dedicated to the 16 Nazis who died during Hitler's abortive beer hall Putsch? Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. Which work? Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. No, it's Mein Kampf. Next. In the first volume of Mein Kampf, Hitler declares the need for Germany to seek living space in the East at the expense of the Slavs. Which German word did he use for this ideology? Lebensraum. It's correct. Well done. Here's the next start of both teams on the buzzer. Which Egyptian statesman who recovered the Suez Canal zone from Israel was also the first Arab leader? Yes, somebody's gone for it. Deepak on Jadapur. Muhammad Nasser. No, you interrupted wrongly over there, so five points taken away from your tally, Jadapur. I'll complete the question for Edinburgh. Which Egyptian statesman who recovered the Suez Canal zone from Israel was also the first Arab leader to recognize that country? No? The correct answer is Anwar Sadat. All right, Deepak. We'll get on to the next start of 10 points for both teams. With about 1% by volume, which is the third most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere? It's Graham this time from Edinburgh. Argon. Argon is correct. Well done. You get the bonus questions. <laughs> Edinburgh, your bonus questions are on Nobel laureates. Which 1983 literature Nobel laureate was a lieutenant in the British Navy and took part in the sinking of the Bismarck and the Normandy landings? John Betjeman. No, it's not. It's William Golding. Next. Which activist shared the Nobel Peace Prize in 1997 along with the organization she founded, the International Campaign to Ban Landmines? Nominate Rachel. Is it Aaron Hattie Roy? No, it was Jody Williams, which is the correct answer. Next. Which noted laureate's second wife was Eva Colorni, whom he credits with encouraging him to study gender inequalities, and his third wife is the noted academic Emma Rothschild? Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud, no. Till a little while back, he was the master of Trinity. This is the Nobel laureate from India, Amartya Sen. Next starter, open to both teams, but before that, I'll quickly wrap up the scores. We've had some frantic action on the buzzer, but not too many points being scored as yet on the bonus points, that is. At this stage, Jadapur University, Kolkata are at 10. They've lost five points on a penalty, as have University of Edinburgh, but they are at 25, and they're leading. <laughs> Visual run next. Clues coming up on your screen. The first question here is a starter with 10 points with a visual clue attached to it. Identify this nocturnal member of the cat family found only in coniferous forests. Somebody's got for it. Graham, you know, uh, Edinburgh, you interrupted. Jaguar. It's not the Jaguar. Another minus five there for you. I'll complete the question for Jadapur. Identify this nocturnal member of the cat family found only in coniferous forests and upper reaches of the Himalayas and a subject of a book by Peter Matheson. Yes, it's Origit. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard is correct. Well done. Here's your next question and a visual along with it. Identify this wild Asian carnivore of the species Kuon alpinus, also featured as the red peril in Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. I need an answer. It's not a hyena. I've seen a hyena. A jackal. A jackal. It's not. It's the dhole. 
or the Indian wild dog, also known as the red dog. Next bonus question. Found in the mountainous regions from Siberia to the Himalayas, this deer has no antlers, and unlike other deer, it has a gallbladder. Identify this animal from this picture. Musk deer. Musk deer is correct. Well done. Next. Identify this endangered animal found in South Asia, which resembles raccoons rather than their closest relatives. Red panda. Red panda. Very good answer. Well done. And time for another starter. What, 10 points for both teams. Fingers on the buzzer, teams. What is the cult which worships Baron Sarnedi, Erzuli, Ogu, and Legba, who are said to be spirits who involve themselves in human matters? Yes, Graham from Edinburgh. Voodoo. Voodoo is correct. Well done. You got the bonus question. Edinburgh, your questions are on Asian history and geography. There has to be a balance. <laughs> Which mountain system extends about 300 miles from eastern Afghanistan, southeastwards into Jammu and Kashmir, and contains many peaks whose heights exceed 20,000 feet? The Karakoram. Right, five points. Next. Built between 1959 and 1978, the Karakoram Highway connects Kashgar in China to the capital of which neighboring state? Yes? Nepal. Not Nepal, it's Pakistan, in fact, to Islamabad. Next. Which warrior in 1220 established his headquarters at the now ruined city of Karakoram? in Mongolia and used it as a base for his invasion of China. Genghis Khan. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Let's get quickly on to another starter worth 10 points to both teams. Who was the command pilot of the Gemini 8 mission which accomplished the first in-space docking of two orbiting spacecraft on 16th March 1966? Will from Edinburgh. Is it John Glenn? Not John Glenn, Jadapur. Anybody going to go for it? Orijit from Jadapur. Alan Shefford. No, it's not. It's actually Neil Armstrong, who also became the first man on the moon. Next starter. What, 10 points to both teams. Which movie directed by Frank Darabont in 1994, based on a short novel? Yes, it's Simon from Edinburgh. The Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption is correct. Well done. Your bonus questions are on nicknames of sportsmen. Nicknamed the Brockton Blockbuster, which American boxer retired as the only undefeated heavyweight champion in boxing history? I need an answer. Jack Dempsey. No, it's not. It's Rocky Marciano. Next. Who did the Red Sox legend Ted Williams call the greatest baseball player of our times who was also nicknamed Jolting Joe? Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio is right. Next. Which American athlete who was ranked number one simultaneously in the 200 meters and 400 meter sprints in the mid 90s was nicknamed the Wacko Express after his hometown in Texas? Michael Johnson. Michael Johnson is right. <laughs> and we've reached midway point of this exhibition match between the University of Edinburgh and Jadapur University, Kolkata. And at this stage, Jadapur have 30. And at twice their score, it's a team from Edinburgh with 60 points. <laughs> Despite the points, we've had a fairly seesaw match so far. And I'm looking forward to what happens in the second half of the contest, at the end of which we'll find out which of the two teams is going to win. Do join us after a very short break. Till then, stay with us. Welcome back to this friendly playoff on University Challenge where Jadapur University, Kolkata on the one hand, is playing University of Edinburgh on the other. At this stage, the Edinburgh team have twice the points that Jadapur do. Will they be able to hold on to it or will Jadapur be able to challenge them enough to make a match of it? We'll soon find out. Here's the next starter question, open to both teams, on the buzzer. What is the Russian acronym for Chief Administration of Corrective Labor Camps that ran in the Soviet Union during the 1930s. Yes, it's Origit from Jadapur. Gulag. Gulag is correct. You get the bonus points. 
I won't even try to give you the full expanded version in Russian, but here are your bonus questions on India's tea industry. Which Governor General of Bengal is credited with setting up a committee in 1834 to formulate a plan for tea cultivation from which the Indian tea industry later stemmed? Bentink. Bentink. William Bentink. It's correct. Next. Which Englishman came to be regarded as the father of the Indian tea industry? Yes, I need an answer. John Hawkins. Just a wild guess there. No, nowhere close to the answer is Charles Alexander Bruce. Here's the next bonus question. Which Indian tea company was born in 1983 after James Finlay sold their shareholdings? Duncan. No, it's not. It's Tata tea. Next starter for both teams on the buzzer. Which endangered animal with various species called Ruffed, ring-tailed, gentle, and golden bamboo. And it's Simon from Edinburgh. Lemur. Lemur is correct. Well done. You get the bonus questions. Your bonus questions, Edinburgh, are on comic strips. The first American space satellite was the Explorer 1, launched in 1958. The first British satellite was Ariel in 1962. What was the name of the first French satellite launched in 1965? Ariane? No. We said comic strips, and it is Asterix. Oh. Next. Which comic strip features the characters Boopsy, BD, Duke, Zonka, Zipper, and Mike? RG. No, it's not. It's Doonesbury. Next. Published in more than 17 languages and over 1,900 newspapers worldwide, a frequent topic of his cartoons being science, who created the comic strip The Far Side? Gary Larson. Gary Larson is correct. Right this time, and on to the next starter for 10 points. What is the name of the mansion in Washington, D.C., where representatives of the United States, the United Kingdom, the Soviet Union, and China formulated proposals for an organization that became the basis for the United Nations? Yes, it's Amit from Jadapur University. Dumbarton Oaks. That is correct. Well done. Here are the bonus questions. Your bonus questions are on an armed movement. The mutinous soldiers of the East Bengal Regiment and East Pakistan Rifles formed which force under the leadership of Muhammad Ataul Ghani Osmani? Assam Rifles. Hmm. Assam Rifles? No, it's not. It's the Mukti Bahini. Oh. Next. Which later Bangladeshi president commanded the Z Force or Z Brigade of the Mukti Bahini in the War of Independence? Mujibur Rahman? No, it's not. It's Ziaur Rahman. Next, after which Bangladesh leader was the first artillery unit of the Mukti Bahini named? I need an answer. Mujibur Rahman. This time you're right. It was the Mujib Battery. You got one right there. On to the next starter. It's on audio round now, and so clues with audio clues attached to it. We have just a little under four minutes left, team, so you have to make the most of it as fast as you can. Here's your first clue worth ten points on the buzzer. Identify this popular Russian folk music instrument from this clue. Yes, it's Simon from Edinburgh. That's the balalaika. Balalaika is correct. Well done. Here are your bonus questions on musical instruments. Identify this. Harpsichord. Harpsichord is correct. Next. First taken to America in the 17th century by black slaves, which instrument is this? Banjo. That is the banjo. Next. Identify this deepest sounding of double reed instruments from this piece of music. Yes. Bassoon. It is the bassoon. Well done. Right. All times. Well done. And with that, University of Edinburgh have achieved a century. We've just got two minutes left. Next starter for both teams, Jadapur University. This is the time to wake up. It's now or never. Which naturalist born in Jamshedpur in 1925 wrote the bestsellers like Beagle Bafoot and My Family and Other Animals? And it's Simon from Edinburgh. Gerald Durrell. Gerald Durrell is correct. Edinburgh, bonus questions for you, linked by a word. 
called Schwarzwald in German. What name is given to the wooded mountain region in southwest Germany in Baden-Württemberg? The name referring to the dense strands of fur on the upper slopes? The Black Forest. Black Forest is correct. Next. Which Scottish chemist isolated carbon dioxide by decomposing chalk and limestone in about 1754? I need an answer. Joseph Lister? No, it's not. It's Joseph Black. Next. In October 1922, which national militia marched on Rome to force King Victor Emmanuel III of Italy to accept Mussolini's regime? The black shirts? Yes, the operative word was black, and you are right. Well done. <laughs> Seconds to go. Here's the next starter. What, 10 points? Nitric acid has a chemical formula, HNO3, but which acid has a chemical formula? And that is time. I was going to say HNO2, and that is nitrous acid. But with the bell going there, we have Jadapur University, Kolkata, at 60 points. Thank you for trying hard and playing well and for joining us on this forum. But this match has been won outright by the team from University of Edinburgh at 120 points. Congratulations to them. That was a fast-paced match in this series of friendly playoffs between UK and Indian teams on University Challenge, which is acting as a curtain raiser to the Indian Championship, which will follow very soon. Next week, we have a match between the University of Wales, Aberystwyth, and the Government Engineering College, Thrissur, from Kerala. Until then, it's goodbye for the team from University of Edinburgh. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. It's goodbye from the team from Jadapur University, Kolkata. Goodbye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.